hi everybody welcome back to my channel i'm back in the office this is today i think it's march 12th um we are going to put the flowers in new baskets hopefully that works we have some new storage bins here that we're going to use i'm going to fix up whatever's on the desk that just kept getting piled and then we're going to go from there and see how much we get done i decided to try sitting in the rollator instead of bringing in the wheelchair um, if it's uncomfortable for a while, I can always move to the office desk chair. I have my brace on so I can be here for however long it, my legs will let me. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and get started, okay? So I'm going to set you up. I am going to cover my lips because it does protect my mouth from the air that dries my mouth. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cover my lips while we work because Jim and I can hear each other. It's just hard to talk over on the camera sometimes with it, okay? Um, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to work on is getting the um, extra signage off of my table. We're going to um, stack them into one of the empty cubies next to the tag signs that we made last time. <laughs> it was a long time ago for me, but it was last week for you. Um, and we, um, I have one board that doesn't fit, so I have to find like a happy home for that. But this is still, uh, this part is still the, the primary organization. Um, I'm not going to get rid of any flowers because we did purge flowers right before I became injured. Um, but I do have new baskets for them to go in that I'll touch more farmhouse and that'll keep them a tiny bit more, I don't know, categorized, I guess. Okay, because I'll be able to take six smaller baskets um, and replace the five large ones that I have. So I have a couple of wreaths that are done that... Uh, one I'm, I want to give away and one is um, sort of one that I bought that I was going to, I don't know, Frankenstein or whatever. So we're going to end up hanging them on the wall. And then we have some Christmas things that need to go in the Christmas box and autumn things that need to go in the autumn box and Halloween things that need to go in the Halloween box. So that's what Jim is doing as well. I do appreciate my husband so much. He is really my legs right now and I... And my energy. <laughs> and I can't thank him enough. Um, as I do when I'm home. I just thank him tremendously. We do have some things that he worked on. Um, off camera. Just to try to make room for. This basket of. Uh, ribbon. It's like a giant metal basket of ribbon. Um, trying to figure out. Where to put it on the top of the. Uh, cabinet there. And again that's also. Um, not permanent because we haven't gone through all the ribbon yet. Um, but that's what we're kind of working on there. We want to be able to get that big basket off my table. Um, so let me, uh, tell you that we're just, uh, taking the two garbage pails that I have full of ribbon and putting them together on the one side and just fitting that ribbon basket there on that other side for right now. Um, like I said, once we do get everything situated and everything has its home we'll go ahead and make it more organized but this is just what we're doing right now and it's kind of giving me a visual idea of like would my ribbon be good up there in a whole basket all together so that I can just pull it down when I need it or so on and so forth so just trying to still think about how to you know make my space the best so now that we have it all worked out that fits up really nicely there um I also want to apologize for the light I needed that light to see, and I didn't realize how terrible it makes the camera look, so I apologize for that. Um, so please forgive me. But the next we're just going to work on is the flowers. So I have these tall, square, the stackable baskets from the Dollar Tree, and that's what I've always had my flowers in. But what I did was I bought these cute lined wire, like chicken wire baskets from... Uh, Walmart. I wanted to try to share the tag with you, but because of the terrible light, it really blew out the um, like the numbers on the tag. But if I can still find them online, I will share them in the description box down below. Um, but they're really cute, and they're perfect for flowers. So trying to get the rest of the stuff together, um, the flowers is actually going to be my first stage of the um, secondary organization. I think. Yeah. No. Tertiary. One of the, one or the other. The next stage. <laughs> but they're really cute. They're shorter. Uh, they're, they're tall, but they're shorter than the Dollar Tree baskets. But they also have a narrower footprint. 
However, all of the same flowers fit from one basket to the other. You just got to give them a big hug, make sure they're all stacked in properly, and then just transfer them to the other basket. Now, the problem that we will have is that the poof that comes out of the top is going to be just as poofy. So even though we have a smaller footprint, we're going to do with something a little different. And again, it's going to be really hard to see on camera, so I apologize. Um, but I'll show you guys, I promise. <laughs> So I have my flowers separated by pinks, reds, spring color flowers. Then I have a basket of entirely white. I have two baskets of autumn and one basket of greenery and filler. Now, I actually have six of these Dollar Tree farmhouse baskets. So we're going to like break up and redistribute some of the autumn baskets. I have two autumn baskets that I'm going to turn into three autumn baskets. And this way, they're not overwhelming and they're a little bit more subcategorized. Like I have the sunflowers together. And I have the things with pumpkins on them together. Like that. Okay? So as you can see, it's quite easy other than the fact that I occasionally drop one or two. <laughs> but other than that, it's okay. But what we ended up doing was we're going to stagger them. So basically, the first basket's going to go towards the back all the way on the right. The next basket's going to be kind of in front of it. Um, but, but mostly next to it and then back and forth, almost like a checkerboard. And that's going to help with all that poofy flowers that we talked about a few minutes ago. Okay.
So that was short, but I'm very uncomfortable. It was very warm in here. For some reason, the heat was pumping straight into this room. And it's really weird because we had the door open and the thermostat's right there. And it was so hot in here, you'd think the thermostat would shut off, but it kept pumping. So I, I it made me over sweaty, over itchy, over tired. I'm exhausted again. So I'm proud of what we did. We did this. We put the flowers in their baskets and we straightened up some things here. We got the desk almost all cleaned off <laughs> of most of the big stuff. Um, we did figure out that those metal baskets fit in the cubbies, which was why I bought them. I'll share that with you the next time, hopefully next week or maybe this sometime during the week. I'll feel this good or better. <laughs> all right. But listen, if nobody told you today that you're loved, I love you. Sorry about the crazy hair. People with crazy hair are allowed to love you and still be okay. And as always, you take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye.